We're doing Wordle every single day for a week for a video. This is day number one. Let's get right to it. So I heard somebody say the word siren today and the Wordle addict in me was like, oh my God, that is the greatest word of all time for the start. Listen guys to how many levels there are to why this is like the goat starting word. Number one, two vowels, three consonants. That's like the goat structure. Number two, RSTL and E, it has like 66% of that in the word. Number three, you guys probably weren't thinking about this. If it is an ER word, which is like the worst thing for it to be in Wordle because there's so many different ER words at the end. Um, we like have that covered right away because we'll know if it's an ER word and we don't have to waste three guesses just getting to the fact that it's ER just to like not get it because there's so many different ER words. So we're just going to hop right into it here. And then as I say that, it all comes crashing down, but at least it's not an ER word. Although I guess we kind of wanted it to be. First word I see here is plush. Um, do I like that? Not really because I kind of want to get the A involved as well. And maybe the O. Yeah, we're definitely not going for a U here. What? I mean... Like, I'm not going to guess it, but if this is the word and we were to guess it and get it into, oh my God. I mean, everybody would just say I'm cheating, but oh my God. I mean, we're not going to guess it though. I mean, what am I saying? So I was thinking Clash, right? It kind of, you know, it's pretty textbook, I guess. There's only one vowel and then if it's an O or a U, we're kind of screwed because then we have to pick between O and U in the next one. So then like I thought about that and I was like, okay, yeah, we shouldn't do that. So then I thought of Coast. It feels a lot more sensible here. Um... Okay, A-S-H, it's gotta be A-S-H. Oh my God, this is still in play. This is still in play, think about it. Okay, dang it. Um, what else is still in play? This, plasm, isn't that a thing? Uh, maybe not, maybe I just sound like an idiot. Oh my God, I'm so tempted. Wow, I'm so, no, we can't do it, we can't do it. Fine, 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 no, 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 such a bad idea. But I, I am pretty sure it's going to end in ASA. It's just because, like, I mean, that makes the most sense out of anything ever in the entire world, ever. Um, what do we think? As much as I want to do quash or whatever the freak, I mean, then flash, guys. It's just the way more textbook play, so we're going to do it. <gasps> what? Okay. Um, uh, now, first instinct is it's going to be something like this, but it can't be flask, so maybe not. Um, is it plasm like I was saying before? No way. No way, right? It could be. I mean, at this point, yeah, fine. <gasps> that was such a dumb play. We should have done SK. Wow, Mike, Mike, first word of, I mean, I guess it's only up from here for the next six days. But first day, we're going to get it in five, maybe six. Oh, my. Things that it could start with. Not Q, not W, not Y, not U. Maybe you will throw that on the back burner for now. A, maybe in some weird world. S, no, it can't, literally. D, no. G, oh, glass, dang it. <laughs> duh, 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 duh. Okay. Uh, we'll take it in five. No, we won't take it in five. Guys, we're not taking anything in five. Five socks, but I guess see you tomorrow. All right, y'all. Welcome in day number two. Let's waste no time today getting right to it. When I tell y'all I am addicted to this game, look at the time. Literally 12.01. Guys, I sit here on pins and needles all day waiting for this moment. Today... We are starting with audit, and I feel like if there is one time where we're going to, you know, have a decent chance to get the Wordle in one, it is today. I mean, does this not look like the most Wordle word in the history of ever? We're locking it in. And the streak of me getting one or less letters, which I believe is up to 12 or 13 now, continues with the freak. Uh, first instincts here is, you know, one of those vintage AE words, maybe something like beach um, maybe something like peach. You got a lot of those, maybe reach for better letters. You know what? Honestly, I don't have to think too hard about this. Let's just go for reach all in one take potentially this time. Okay. We're not mad at that. <gasps> no, we're pissed at that. And you guys know why, if you remember from yesterday, ER words are like the death of all Wordle players. This feels like an ER day. I think we should lock it down immediately with this next guest to determine if it's an ER word. Because like I said, the worst thing you can do in Wordle is spend three or four guesses just figuring out if it's an ER word and then spend the last three or four guesses screwing around, not getting the actual word because there's so many freaking possibilities. So let's do something with an ER right now so at least we know after this, after this guess. All right, we're thinking of options here. We got Baker, which, you know, feels kind of not chalk because we're getting a K involved there. Not really sure how I feel about that. We got Gamer. Shout out to Kenny Holler. That would be insane if the word is Gamer. Kenny would go absolutely insane. Okay, but what I think we're actually going to go for here is Wafer, and you're probably like, Wafer, Mike, what are we thinking? I just, like, sometimes when in doubt, I just go for what I think is the most wordle word of all time. That's why we went for Audit. And Wafer, guys, it's so wordly. Come on, you can't tell me it's not the perfect wordle guess. We're going to do it. 
No, see, guys, you're probably thinking, oh, you got three greens. No, we don't want three greens. This is worst case scenario. I am going to sit here and debate a filler word because that's how many possibilities. If a filler word, if you guys don't know what that is, that is guessing letters that we haven't guessed yet um, and not going for the word just to see if we can nail down those last two letters, which is actually in play here because there's so many goddamn things it could be. So I got to think about this for a while. We might do a filler. Could be something like gaper. Actually, gaper, Mike, is that a word? I don't know. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. All right, so thought process here. I think I'm actually going to go for a filler word. And the reason why is because one filler word might not be enough, um, which sounds insane, but we might need two filler words. And I'm not going to sit here and not get the word, right? Wordle every day for a week. That would just be the worst video of all time if I don't get the word one day. So we're going to do a filler word. I'm thinking baker and gamer are probably the two most likely options. And you're thinking, oh, there's like paler um, and stuff like that. But I don't think it's oops. I don't think it's going to be like an adjective. Um, you're like, you know, one of those type of words. I think it's going to be a noun, right? Because I don't think Wordle's ever done like one of those, you know, paler or like, um, you know, things that are like, you know, more something than whatever. So I think it's more likely to be a noun like baker or gamer. So we're going to do a filler with like B and G and something like that. Maybe, um, I don't know. I haven't thought of my filler word yet. So let me go ahead and do that. We're going to run Bumpy here, um, you know, gets the B in Baker, gets the M in Gamer, and it gets them in their spots, which I feel like is huge. And then P and Y we just haven't used yet, so, like, on the off chance that it's a P or a Y, we'll know. Um, so I feel like this is kind of the perfect filler word. Oh, no way. No way. There's no, there's no way. Okay, guys, if you know who Kenny Holler is, that, that is the most insane thing of all time. Oh, my God, I can't wait for his TikTok. I can't, guys, everybody, obviously you're watching this five days past, like this day, but oh my God, that is insane. Wow. Uh, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all, it's day three, and to say we need to bounce back would be a massive understatement. Let's get after it. <laughs> Top five uncharacteristic things out of me. I'm kind of late to the party with this one, 1044 in the morning. Uh, that's because I just went to bed before midnight, which, you know, also very uncharacteristic out of me. Uh, kind of risked getting spoiled by my TikTok comments, but, you know, I didn't go on the app at all. I wanted to make sure we could do this, you know, with a fresh mind here. Um, what are we starting with today? We're doing an OU word. And not to say that we're, like, super due for an OU word, because I'm pretty sure we had Scour on, like, Wednesday, and it's Saturday right now. But, like, there's been a couple AE words. We had Gamer yesterday. I can't even remember what the day before was. I think it was another AE. And then when there's a U, there's probably an O. And then I don't know. Humor's kind of a Wordle word. You guys know my favorite strategy is to guess words that I think are, like, the most Wordle words of all time. We're going to lock in humor here. Oh, my gosh. That is now 14. And I kind of made up that number by saying 13 last time. But we're just going to run with it. That is now 14 days getting one or less letters off the starting word. What do you mean? Now, if y'all have seen any of my other Wordle videos on social media, you know that every time I see a yellow R, first instinct is that it's going to be here. A lot of words have R in the second spot, right? You have PR. Oops, you have PR, very common, right? You have BR. You have CR, TR, you know, DR. The list goes on and on. GR, FR, whatever. So we're going to do something like that. I see. I want to get two more vowels involved. Um, we'll probably just have to cut our losses here and go for an AE word. I like TR just cause T is like the most common consonant in the, in, you know, the English language. Um, we, we could do something like trade. Honestly, I don't, I don't think we have to think too hard about this. It feels pretty chalk. We're going to go for it. Wow. Okay. So, you know, going to go and eat my words about R being in the second spot. Um, R A now maybe we should get an S first thing I think of maybe something like spray. Um, right. We get, you know, R-A still matched up together, a Y, you know, it could be a Y word. I don't know. I kind of haven't really nailed down a strategy with regards to the letter Y. Like, is Y a good letter to guess when you're stuck? Is it a bad letter? I don't know. I feel like it's generally, this is a decent guess, so we're going to go for it. Oh, oh, it's strap, right? No, it can't be strap. It's scrap because we already guessed the, uh, we already guessed the T. Um, if it's not scrap, then am I missing something? Hold on. Quick run through. Actually, even if it's not scrap, scrap is clearly our best guess. Um, so we're going to go for scrap here. Wow. Another four or we got five of the last two days Four today. I guess it's kind of an improvement, but four is just so bad. Like four is so mediocre. I hate four. We're getting in three tomorrow. Lock it in. See you guys tomorrow. Day number four. And y'all, I don't think anybody has ever been more due for like a Wordle home run in history. So let's hop right into it. All right, and with that, we are back to our regularly scheduled programming here at 12.01 in the morning. Guys, this is legitimately the only reason I stayed up tonight. I am so tired, but couldn't wait. Um, 
You know, you know, we start with a lot of AE words. We, we tend to mix in a few OU words, a lot of AI words, stuff like that. I cannot remember, for the life of me, the last time I started with an OI word. First thing I thought it was irony. Um, but then I was like, you know, I don't, I don't really love two vowels and a Y. So I was like, okay, what, what would a better OI word be? And I thought of hoist. I was like, okay, S-T-H, you know, the O and the I in probably a better spot. This just feels a lot better. It feels like a better guess. But then I was kind of thinking, I was like, you know, is this a Wordle word? And, and realistically, guys, every single five-letter word has probably an equal chance of being the Wordle word. But, like, I just have this dumb theory that certain words are, like, more wordle than other words. And hoist, it just, it's just not striking me as a Wordle word. So then I thought of stoic. And I mean, come on, right? Come on. That's the most wordle word. I say this every day. That's the most wordle word of all time. We're locking it in. Okay, and that's a 15-game win streak. 15-game win streak of only getting one letter or less. This is getting unbelievable. Can I get unluckier? Okay, uh, we got something like hoard, right? We, we got something like bored. Uh, I kind of like hoard better just for letters. Um, I, I thought of those two words. I started recording, and I haven't really thought of anything else. Probably OE might be the best uh, play, though. Maybe something like Forge. Has it been Forge? Why do I feel like it's already been Forge? We can't do Force because we already guessed to see. Um, I mean, Forge feels good. I actually kind of like the OA better here, though. I kind of like Horde. Uh, if, if it's an OE, I'm going to go ahead and regret it. But I feel like, you know, you only live once. We're doing OA. It feels a little bit riskier. <sighs> You know, story of my life, guys. Is Forge the guess here? No, there's no, it can't be Forge. There's no R. Um, I mean, I mean, is the one day we don't guess an OU word, is it going to be an OU word? Is it going to be something like O-U-N something? Oops. Uh, oops. God, why can't I type ever? Actually, I'll tell you why I can't type. It's because I'm recording with one hand and I have one hand to type and it's super annoying. Okay. I don't know what this could be. The good news is by, you know, guessing Horde and eliminating a D, we eliminated this. Which is good because this sucks. You got like found, bound, mound, pound, hound, whatever. So at least we don't have to worry about that. Quick update. This feels right. And then I was kind of looking through words with this. First one I think of is woven. But like V, eh, I don't love it. But like I don't really want to stare at this for too long. Uh, okay. I mean, you know, it's a productive guess. But that also clinches not getting the word in three or less. Which like, guys, can we get hot and stay hot once? Once, this is now four days in a row getting the word. And I swear, guys, I swear, I've been doing Wordle my entire, not my entire life, but for a while, for a few months. And I've been keeping stats a lot of the time. Um, and my average is, you know, definitely less than four. Like, I would say I get it in three and four, like, around the same amount of time. We haven't got it in less than four yet in four days. Ridiculous. Okay. O-N-E. Right? I feel like the end's more likely to be here than here. Um, should we even, like look into the end being at the start probably not whatever uh unless it's like n o something e y maybe oh am i gonna regret not guessing a y no way right <sighs> yeah yeah no I'm, I'm gonna regret not guessing a y oh my god irony irony would have been the greatest starting word no no three letters this one in the right spot oh my god I'm so mad at myself. All right, guys, I guess that's going to do it for day number four. Wow. All right, it's day number five. And I'll tell you what, if I don't get this word in three or less, all hell is breaking loose. I mean, in these last three days, I'm going to have to get hot and stay hot or else this video is just going to suck because it's going to be the worst performance of all time. So let's get right to it. We are now to the point in the series where coming up with starting words is just mission impossible, the most frustrating thing of all time. Because, you know, I, I think of fruit and it's an IU word. And I'm like, okay. Like, I need to get this word in three. I got to put so much pressure on myself today that maybe we shouldn't go for an IU word. Maybe we should go for, like, a like a spine or some IE word or AE word, whatever. But then I was like, okay, I did this once before where I almost went with irony. I didn't, and then irony would have been, like, the greatest starting word of all time. Like, I can't do it again, so I feel like I just had to go with the first word I thought of. But the word's an IU word, so I'm like, oh, I just do I just do this to myself? But then, yeah, no. For just just solely because of the pain that this is going to inflict on me, if, if this is, like, a good word and we don't do it, we're doing it. Okay, 16-day winning streak. The streak continues. Okay, now do we do spine because I said it? I mean, there are so many, like, mental factors here. Maybe we do something with slime um, because we just said shine, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. 
Let's do slime here. Ah, I, I just don't want to take too long to think about it because it's just getting way too far. This game, the amount of real estate this game has in my head. <sighs> okay, well, I need, I mean, we know that spine would have been a better word than fruit for the start, which that's just day number 9,643 million of making the wrong decision off the start. Great. Here's the thought process. So I, as we know, has to go in one of these two starting spots, right? Can't go here, here, here. Um, I feel like if I is in the second spot, right, then that means I is probably, you know, the only vowel along with E in the word. Like, there's not going to be two more vowels after E. Um, so I feel like it's going to be something like hinge or binge or something like that. But if I is here, then I feel like there's probably going to be another vowel. And it could be something like inane, um, which, you know, probably doesn't sound like a great guess because two N's. Uh, so, yeah, no, we're just not going to do it. Do we do hinge or binge, though, is the question. I feel like I feel like the word's probably going to be one of these. I really do. Um, but, you know, when have I ever been right when I've made a call like that? So is there any – like, obviously, I would say hinge because it's, you know, technically the H is more common than the B. But we're at the point in the wordle now, you know, we're, we're two guesses in. We only have limited options here. So I feel like getting, guessing the more common letter doesn't really have any, like, value to it because, like, it's just going to be one of them. So, which one do I think is more likely? Probably binge, to be completely honest. So, that's what we're doing. And, oh, I I have never once, once, I have never once made the right decision. You've got to be kidding me. I am I'm the single worst Wordle decision maker, crunch time player of all. It's unbelievable. I'm, I swear I'm not making this stuff up. I swear. Unbelievable. I'll see you tomorrow. Day six, and y'all, it is just now dawning on me that we only have two days now to rebound from this absolute catastrophe. Hopefully, we can get some good luck today. All right. I mean, what do you do when you're down? You make a strategy change. That's what we're doing today. We're switching from two vowels to three vowels. Two vowels wasn't working. I was just picking the wrong ones. Three vowels. You got to assume I'm going to get at least two of these, right? Okay, no. Probably going to get at least one, maybe two. Two would be insane. L and an N. Pretty common consonants. We're going with alone here. <gasps> oh, my God. God, this is the day. This is the day. I have such a good feeling. Wow, this is the day. Okay. A-L. Yeah, okay, let me think of something. <laughs> we got a couple options here. I kind of like album. I kind of like alias, but that kind of repeats the A. I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like album is probably more likely for a word or word. Is there anything else? I feel like there's more things that we could do with a U. Um, can't really put my finger on them right now, but there's definitely more things. Maybe not. We're just going to go for album here. Really hoping we can get this one in two for the video. That'd be so insane. Oh, my God. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. Huge, huge bounce back day. That's what we needed. I'll see you guys in day number seven. This video is all of a sudden good. That's massive. All right, y'all. It is the moment you've all been waiting for. Day number seven, the last day of the challenge. Let's see if we can stay hot after a really good performance yesterday. And yeah. I mean, if it ain't broke, we're not going to go ahead and try and fix it, right? Three vowels is here to stay. Two vowels out the window, at least until I do bad in three vowels, because I actually kind of do like two vowels better. But, I mean, we're staying hot here, so we're going to do three vowels again, or eight. Makes a lot of sense. One of the three vowels, and that's all we get. Okay, interesting. Um, I don't know why this was my first thought, but I don't really like it, so we're not going to do it. Oh, we could do it, though, to be honest. Is it going to be an OU word? I feel like OU words are probably more common than OI words. Um, especially if the O's not in the first spot. So maybe we do like an OU, not, not one of these because this would just suck because there's so many mound, found, bound, hound, wound. So we're going to do an OU word, but in some other capacity or, or guys, we could do an IOU word because it pretty much guarantees us to figure out what the other vowel is. If there is one, um, unless it's like Y or whatever, but I actually kind of like this because I really want to get it in three. If we know what the two vowels are or one vowel or whatever, after the second guess, we have a decent chance of getting it in three. Maybe? Okay, it is an OU word. Oh, no. This is so in play. It's so in play. I just don't want to do it, though, because it's so awful. I honestly think we have to do it, because if it is one of these, then we're going to need maybe two filler words. Probably only one, but maybe two filler words. So we're going to do it and just hope it's not O-U-N-D. No, but the H. Okay, that was good. The H. Ooh, it's got to be couch, right? I'm doing it. You know what? Screw it. We're locking it in. No. No. Okay, I mean, it wasn't like a bad guess because it was probably going to be an O-U-C-H word and there were limited options and C was just one of them. So it wasn't like a bad guess, but now we're going to get the last word in five or six. All right, what are our options here? We got, what do we have? Why can't I not think of anything? It can't be pouch, right? Because there's no P. 
Is there anything else it could be? Vouch isn't a thing. Oh, vouch. Duh, duh, duh. Okay. Vouch in five. Not a good way to end it. I was going to say we're not bad, but we're actually pissed because getting it in five off of, you know, a hot performance of getting it in two. I will definitely be going back to two vowels from now on, to say the least. Uh, but there you go, guys. That was the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, I thought that was really fun.